most of us have by now resolved the most pressing issues of business continuity and switched to predominantly work from home setup. Now I think we need to prepare for a new phase. As we are physically separated in our homes and outlook for how long it's gonna last is unknown, keeping the morale of our organizations up for weeks to come will be a challenge. Therefore, at NASDAQ, we put a lot of focus on maintaining community spirit, keeping connected and supporting our employees in these very special personal and professional situations. Our teams are now forced to quickly learn to be truly agile and solve complex issues and support one another without meeting in person. Once the outbreak is behind us, I think as a result, we will have better performing, uh, more attuned and collaborative teams. I can also see that in the times of adversity, we see less ego and selfishness and much more generosity, empathy and community mobilization. In these particularly stressful times, it is essential for us to feel that we are all in this together, that we have an extended family to lean on. And I hope this sense of unity stays with us beyond. In the times of uncertainty, I think it's more important than ever to get your priorities straight and communicate them consistently to the entire organization. Naturally, first and prim foremost priority has been securing health and safety of our employees, clients, partners, and communities. So current mantra is stay at home, flatten the curve. At the same time, we've been very focused on ensuring that the markets that NASDAQ runs and marketplaces for which we supply technology can continue to operate and smoothly manage huge spikes in volumes and, and volatility that we've been uh, witnessing. With these priorities in mind, we mobilized the COVID-19 task force, acted fast, took early measures, and all the time have stayed a few steps ahead of the developments.